Good morning, and welcome back to the shop. Take a little time this morning, and uh, if you saw my other video, this is my lathe. I made the pieces for my stomp shear off of this, the springs and the collars and uh, the spacers and so forth. And um, This is a good all-around lathe. It's a, a TH-54 Atlas. Uh, you've got about 30, 32 inches of space between the, the chucks. Um, of course, this one comes out and it gives you a dead center. This is a really good chuck. I enjoy that. I've got uh, two sets of jaws for it, for working inside and outside. Uh, it came with uh, all of the tools. I purchased this on an auction about six years ago. And uh, I've been enjoying it. It's, it's not a real precise machine. You're not going to do any rocket surgery with it. But uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's handy. It's just downright handy. And as you see here now, if you saw my other video, it's quite a bit cleaner than what it was. So I spent a couple hours yesterday cleaning it up and trying to make it look a little more presentable. Along with it, I got uh, a book on how to run lathe. I got two owners or operators manuals, and which have been very handy. And whoever owned it before I did, a fellow from Fort Collins apparently, um, he put these books into a ring binder, blowing up the pages, and that's been real nice, of course. Well, when you get older, you appreciate bigger print. But uh, it came with a, a milling attachment. Uh, I'm going to play around with that today a little bit and see what we can do with it. Um, I have a feeling that it's going to need a little bit of work. Uh, we cleaned on it a little bit yesterday. and um, Let's see what we can do. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. I've loosened this up a little bit, so these things should come off a little easier. Put this up here. Now, this is what the milling attachment is going to have to attach to. A little fresh oil on that, make things move a little better. This, of course, is the milling attachment. The piece you're going to work on mounts in here. It's apparently been used some. There is a little bit of surface rust on the on the gauge. This goes on here like that. Like a lot of guys say, I, this may not be the right way to do it, but the way we're going to do it today. there's a better way to do it. Okay. Now let's roll this back out of the way so you can see a little better. We're going to take that chuck off and try not to smash any fingers in the process. Walk that so it won't turn. This thing is, in technical terms, is heavy. Okay, now this goes in here. And this comes from the back side, screws into the... There we go. Turn that on and see if they're how straight that is. It does appear to be a little wobble in that dial indicator here. Well, I'm not going to make like I keep a dial indicator handy all the time. I, to be honest, I'm not that precise. Yeah, we've got about five thousandths. About five thousandths of wobble in there. I know five thousandths doesn't sound like a lot. Yeah. I suppose in a lot of instances it could ruin your whole day.
Well, there are a little bit of rough spots on this. And you feel inside here, feels like maybe there's a little bit of surface rust in it. I had about five thousandths off. And let's see. And this may not be exactly kosher. But... Scraping a little bit of stuff off of there. You know, it doesn't take very much to make five thousandths off. take a run a rag up inside there and clean it out a little bit. Just I'm not going to run a tool on that. Fire it up and we'll see. Unlock it first. Like I said, I'm not a machinist to the point where I can change it. Yeah, there's pretty good nick in there where somebody must have hit it with some. You can actually see where somebody cleaned it off, too. Well, let's see. Take that chuck back off of there. That appears to be a lot straighter. Take our handy dandy dial indicator and run her back to zero. Wow, what a difference that made. We were five thousandths off before, now it's right on the money. Pays to keep it clean. Looking at the milling attachment from the other side, uh, obviously these Screws come down against the material that you set in here. Um, this locks the table from going up and down if you want to secure it. Obviously, if you want to run the tool up and down, the wheel on top allows you to do that. I found a small piece of shaft that I think we can put a a little bit of a keyway in. We don't have to go full length, but we can see if it'll, how well it'll do. Just set that in there and tighten it in. We'll bring this down. <laughs> well, that's not going to be a keyway. We're just going to put a groove in part of that, I think. So down just a little bit. Lock it in place.
Well, let's make some noise or some chips or try not to ruin anything. Seems to work pretty well. I'm fairly well pleased with the way that works. If you had a shaft that you needed to put a flat spot on or for a set screw or for, you know, who knows what, that didn't do a bad job. So, I do have a mill. It's good for small jobs, but uh, it seems to work well. Thanks for joining me. And remember, work safe.